Here's another uh, industry heavy uh, magazine for modelers. This is uh, Cinefix Perennial Visual Effects magazine that covers a lot of the models when uh, they do the films with models. I pulled out the Blade Runner one uh, specifically because there are a lot of good shots of stuff that you never see anywhere else. guys behind the models talking about the models that they're shooting lots of concept work how they put it all together endless hours just detailing again great behind the scenes photos you'll never get anywhere else This magazine is released four times a year and uh, currently it's going for twelve fifty, fifteen Canadian. That's if you buy it on the shelves. Get the subscription for a year, two or three years and it's a lot cheaper down to eight dollars. While there's a lot less physical models going on nowadays, this still gives you a really good idea of the overall thoughts and processes for how they go into, uh, well, films at least, and how they integrate with our reality. There you go. I won't acknowledge the movie, but a one-eighth city, city scale is, uh... Definitely a huge model. Those got to be like two or three feet tall each for those buildings there. So, modeling in the movies is definitely not dead yet. They've got a long way to go before that happens. And uh, getting the actual people who are building them to talk about it is great. So, if you buy four of these at 13 for the year. That's uh, twenty six fifty two dollars. If you get a single year subscription, it's thirty four delivered. So uh, and twelve issues is eighty four bucks, which is crazy. Otherwise, it'd be like a hundred thirty something. So pick up Cinefix wherever you get it. There's a uh, hundred and sixteen issues out there a good dozen of them are completely out of print especially the popular ones like empire strikes back that if you find it on ebay will run you ninety dollars easy so cinefx keep an eye out for it it's all the regular bookstores and of course get the subscription if you can because it's well worth it